Hello everyone, welcome to episode two of our gardening TV series. If you guys aren't familiar with this TV series, we are basically gonna take you along with me and my gardening journey every day because that's all I do is I garden and I eat fruit. So I hope you enjoy today's episode and let's get gardening. This is a blue java banana. I got as a, as a little a cut. No, what do you what do you call those uh, banana corms? I believe it's called. And basically, a corm is when it just comes with it. Just came like this, and nothing else. And I planted it. And now it's this beautiful banana, blue java banana. Back here we have yuca, which we eat a lot in Colombia. Uh, we harvest a root, but also um, you can grow this as a chop and drop, chop and drop crop. Also, it's known as cassava here. And uh, I love this back section because I have some beautiful things. As you see, look at this passion fruit flowering on my neighbor's side, my neighbor's yard. It's beautiful, right? Okay. Back here I have uh, soursop, which I actually just pushed out a new set of leaves. Beautiful. Oh my God, guys. Butterfly. I hope he's gonna pollinate the the passion fruit hey buddy all right this is a namwa banana what i love about this one is uh look at this oh my god it's already sending up pups <laughs> so that is super cool and uh, this is dragon fruit So it's been a few days since we checked these sugar apples. Now I noticed that some of them have started to actually turn um, black. And that could be due to many reasons. One, the first reason it could be uh, due to the childhood wasp or the anona seed borer. And in able to prevent that, you wanna bag your fruit, but it could also be because too much fruit on the tree stresses out the tree and naturally it just loses some by turning them black. Now these trees, this size, I think can support one or two fruits and as you see I have more. So actually some of them have started to turn black. We're just gonna remove this one just so we can show you guys. So you see this is the little black sugar apple that uh, we picked. So I want to show you guys these sugar apples over here. Now these sugar apples are growing really cool looking. I don't know how the benefit of them all growing here, if it's, you know, not even, if it's a benefit or, a, you know, a negative, but they seem to be withholding really well for the most part. They're kind of getting a little close there. And then we even have two more over here. So we're just gonna take this, take these off just to check on them. Make sure they're doing good. You know, let them breathe a little bit. So this sugar apple tree right here, actually, there's two fruits that I wanna uh, see. And I haven't been able to because I originally I had purchased these uh, fruit bags off Amazon and I thought they were really good but then I realized that like the tying feature when you tie these they still leave a little bit of a gap so um, you know any bug that wanted to crawl in there could crawl in and uh, so I decided to order the these other ones called organza bag organza and I found them on Amazon they're cheaper and better so let me just show you real quickly. These bags right here, you can't really tie them all the way. So let's say you had a fruit in there. You can't like, you can't tie them all the way because there always leaves like a little gap on the sugar apple. But with these bags, first of all, you can open them so much more convenient and they can even, they tie right up tight to the sugar apple stem. 
so nothing can get through. Alrighty, so let's this is a beautiful sugar apple right there. And uh, let's check this one. These have not led. These, I, I made a really tight knot on the old bags to really close that gap. And, you know, I knew the moment I wanted to. I didn't think I'd open these before because how difficult it would be before a harvest. But now, since I'm just going to change these bags to the easier organza bags, I'm just going to remove this. I'm just going to save these for, like, another fruit that I don't need to be taking like figs figs i don't need to even check until they're ready because i really don't mind figs too much but sugar apples is a fruit that i need to check every other day or so i got it un unknotted a bit so it can start moving in the direction of uh opening it and it is hot out here guys uh, i am wanting a smoothie a fruit smoothie with this heat Oof, this one got thick on us, huh? Oof, that's nice. That is one nice sugar apple. So this is my moringa that I planted, I would say like two weeks ago. It was really small. It just shut up. I planted it right before like the heavy rain showers. So it's beautiful though, look, it's beautiful. Mm. You can literally just eat off the tree. Moringa is like a power food. Uh, it tastes kind of like a little spicy, like it has a little, not like spicy hot, but it has that little kick. So I have to water these plants pretty frequently, like every day or every other day, because containers don't hold as much water as they would in ground, as a plant would in ground. So it's important to uh, water your, your container plants, especially if they take direct sunlight like these. ¿Estás regando es con esa? 
Yeah. ¿Y la otra? Which one? Ah, ¿Me puede regalar ese jardincito de ahí? Ya va. I already did that earlier. Ah, pero la rosa está muriendo. ¿Estás bien? Yo ya me imagino cuando estés en tu finca y esté todo esto desocupadito. Now these are all um, actually plants in pots, believe it or not. This is noni. Now noni is actually a really healthy fruit. Now I never actually had the fruit, but I heard it stinks. So that's the actual leaf. And I have figs coming very soon. And I, I really like this middle section too, because it's pretty easy to manage. And it's kind of like a, just like a section of evergreen which is always so cool. Let me show you guys. So this is what I'm talking about. It's pretty, uh, pretty flush. And I have a few things I need to transplant. Like this thing right here, this is a tamarind. And this tamarind, um, if you put it in a big pot, it will grow, it will grow fast. Uh, if something, if you guys didn't know, is trees that are known to just be big and grow fast if you have them in bigger pots and give them a lot of water um they're gonna grow super fast if you have them in big pots and you don't give them a lot of water they're not gonna grow as fast because uh, they big trees just love a lot of water so just always keep that in mind whenever you're putting um you know smaller if you know a tree is gonna get big just put it in a good size pot you know but if you want to restrict the size just keep it in a smaller size because i know there's some people that like to restrict the uh, size of a tree and that's okay you know trees can do whatever to your liking as long as you take care of them now i really like this maha chinook i top worked this maha chinook let's say i think two weeks ago and now as you see it's putting out this beautiful new blush um really shiny leaves as you see this one has two coming out because the way i got it at the nursery like it was just kind of normal so as you see right here there's something coming And um, right over here, actually. So here we are. Here we are at the front of the yard. It's super bright out. But right here, I played in wax jambu. Now, I've never actually even tried wax jambu, the fruit, but I know I'll probably like it. So that's why I planted it. And I also heard wax jambu likes to be in wet areas. So this area stays pretty moist. I watered it today, but it stays pretty moist. Uh, all summer so that's that now the sugar apples over on this tree they're kind of holding up really well i lost a lot and this area was kind of concerning because it's pretty flooded but uh you know the sugar apple holds really well in this uh in this area let me see there you go the sugar apple as you see, it's about the size of a tennis ball right now. Um, I don't know how much larger this is gonna get before it ripens. I don't expect it to get too large, you know, maybe about uh, that much bigger, I would say. So there is currently two more on this tree. There's one up there, and then there's one we just looked at. Another one's right here on the bottom.